Hello, good morning, science enthusiasts. Welcome to the second episode of our learning journey in Science 8. Once again, this is Sir Randy, your science teacher at your service. Before we start our new lesson, let us try to answer the following questions to check whether you understood the previous lesson. Matter can exist in one or three main states, solid, liquid, or gas. Let us try to describe the common properties of the three states of matter. Just answer solids, liquids, or gas. Number one. It has different shape and volume. Well, if your answer is solid, then you are correct. Number two, have different volume but no definite shape. If your answer is liquid, then you are correct. Let's go to number three, have no definite shape or no definite volume. If your answer is gas, then you are correct. Wow! Congratulations to all of you. I know that you are all ready for the next lesson. In this lesson, we hope to describe the three states of matter based on the arrangement and movement of particles. Also, let us try to explain that particles of matter move and have space in between. Last meeting, you learned that everything that exists can be classified as either a type of matter or a form of energy. Non matter includes light, heat, and sounds. You cannot hold, taste, or even smell these things. According to Aristotle, a Greek philosopher, any object can be divided infinitely into smaller pieces. But, Democritus believed that if an object is cut into smaller and further smaller pieces, one may finally attain the smallest indivisible particle which he referred to as atomos, which means boom, indestructible. A molecule is a particle consisting of two or more atoms combined together in a specific arrangement. Matter and energy make up your surroundings. Matter is made up of a very small particles called atoms. It is the behavior and interaction of atoms and molecules within a substance that determine their state. And please look at the picture of the particulate model of matter. The particulate model of matter shows that the particles of solids cannot move around and they vibrate, yes, they vibrate a little in fixed position, just like this. Vibrate in fixed position. Thus, they are incompressible. Particles are tightly packed together in the solid. The forces between the particles are intense in such a way that the particles cannot move freely but can only vibrate. As a result, the solid has a stable, definite shape, and a certain volume. Solids can only change their shape by force as if they were broken or cut. Now, in liquids, the particles are closer to one another. Yes, they are closer to one another, but they can move around each other and can change positions, but not as freely as those in gas. As you observe from the given example of liquid, like cooking oil, it flows. Its particles spread out and take the shape of the container while maintaining its volume. Thus, Liquids have definite volume, but no definite shape. Particles in liquids collide each other as they flow out of a container. And this happens because there are attractions among them. These attractions make it possible for liquids to have a definite volume. Gases 
take the shape of the container because the particles are able to move freely to all parts of the container. Gases move in random motion. Yes, in random motion. And its particles move at random directions very quickly. It's very quickly. Particles of gases collide each other. And with the walls of the container in a straight line path, and change their direction only when they rebound after collisions. The attractions between particles is negligible because they are far from each other. This explains why a gas spreads and fills all the available space in the container. We have here two very important questions. Yes, there are two very important questions. First, what difference are there among solids, liquids, and gases? And why is the particulate model of matter important? Listen up! Particles of three states of matter differ in movements and arrangements. Once again, particles of three states of matter differ in movements and arrangements. Thus, a particle model of matter is very important in differentiating the structure of solids, liquids, and gases based on its shapes and molecular arrangement. Matter, regardless of its state, is always in constant random motion that possesses energy of motion known as kinetic energy that is dependent on the temperature. This means that as you increase the temperature, atoms and molecules will gain more energy. As a result, they will move even faster. All right, so those were the very important terms and statements that you should know. And finally, this lesson Made you aware that molecular motion is greatest in gases, less in liquids, and least in solids. Matter is made up of tiny particles. You also learn that particles of matter are moving all the time. Yes, they move all the time. Thus, particles in motion have kinetic energy and their motion increases as they gain energy. These particles have spaces between them that make them attract each other. Alright! So, sana natutukayin lahat today. Congratulations once again for joining me today sa ating second module sa quarter 3. And do not forget to, to share this video to your friends para lahat tayo ay matuto. Next time ulit, maraming salamat. God bless you all!